everyone, this is Doris. Today I wanna to share with you my journal that I have completed for the Dear Julie Julie February Find It and Finish It Junk Journal Challenge. We had to do a fabric covered journal and it had to have at least two signatures. This one I did uh, three signatures on and I chose to do a five hole pamphlet stitch. On the front, we have some of the elements that we had to do. Um, we have fringe, here's my flowers, floral. This floral image came from a book called For the Love of Paper Botanicals book. And then down here I have my fray. And I used a hitch post fastener. In the first pocket here, this is my frame that we had to do. And normally this, uh, the tan colored ones do not have a, a window, so I just cut out a window and put in an acetate piece, ran it through my embossing machine and uh, my die cut machine, and then I inked it up and added some little embellishing here. And then inside my frame is my form that we had to do. This just flips up so you can write some more. And my digitals that I've used throughout the book are from Romantica Arts, as in this piece. I use Dear Julie Julie's Succulents and Roses. And there are also a few from Digital Curio. Over here, the beginning of my first signature. I chose to do all three signatures, the front the same. So I have cardstock backing and a picture from one of my own succulents. And this acetate piece here is a Project Life, I believe. Next item I had to do, which is fluffy, and I had this feather. I did trim on some of the edges also. Another element was faint. I did a lot of stenciling throughout the book. One of Julie's images. This is from Romantica Arts. We also had to do at least four form, graph, type, line, ledger papers. And this is one of mine. I added one of my uh, stamps down here. And we also had to do at least four fabric tabs. This one I covered with uh, this paper cutout and a brad and a little piece of vintage trim. My first flip flop we had to do four of those. I just had fun doing a little stitching here. Here's my flip flop. Another digital. This is Digital Curio here. This form is from my own uh, collection. It's a really frail piece. I don't remember where I got it. Maybe a garden book. I don't don't remember, but I decided to uh, copy it and use it throughout the book. And then this first pocket here, one of our elements we had to do, let's see, this one was the fancy fold envelope. So we had to have four inserts. So here are two. This one I did some stamping on. And here's my other two inserts. Yeah, you can see my machine messed up big time there. I don't know what was going on, but <laughs> It gave me fits throughout this journal. Okay, moving on. Let's see, another flip-flop. This one using pink lined paper that I had. Stenciling. Here's a couple 12 by 12 cutoffs I just uh, glued together for some more writing space. Made a little corner tuck. This is out of a clearance planner that I got at Hobby Lobby. This is from a cutout from a magazine. Little, add a little ruffle here from the fabric from the cover. Next element we had to do uh, felt. That's what it was, felt. The only thing I had felt was this uh, leaf 
So that's what I added on here. I made a pocket with some trim and stitching. And here I just added a Project Life card. Another one of my uh, succulent photos. Next thing we had to do, this is a folio with a file folder. This design, this idea right here, I got from Jessica Rapp at Two Silver Oranges. And this cover was really an epic fail because uh, my stitching, I tried twice with my sewing machine and ripped it out both times and it left these big holes. So I just decided to take embroidery thread and weave it through the holes. Crafters always have uh, alternatives. So on the inside, I made a little envelope here. This I could put like a gift card or a, like a store card. A little piece of measuring tape. This opens up here. I have a journaling card. A pocket here and a, a tag from my old botanical book. Some places to write. And I made it like this so that I could easily add more paper, take paper off when it's full. And then in the back here, another tag. Uh, Fussy cut one of Julie's images on here. Beginning of the second signature. Another element was a fabric flip. Again, part of my cover. Just made it into a little side tuck there. This here is a double pocket I made. Obviously, I have a lot of room. I can write, add journaling cards and tags still. Another element was French. So I have uh, French writing on this napkin that I Mod Podged on my folder. And then if you look real closely, you might be able to see, I'm not sure. This is a French stamp. And then I have it glued onto some fabric and a piece of trim with a bulb pin there. This I created on my own. I had a big uh, stencil sheet and then I just experimented with some ink and uh, distressing. Washi tape along the edge here. Julie's Digital. Another fabric tab. And then in the center of the book here, Another element we had to do was filler. I used sewing tissue. And this sewing tissue I actually glued onto the entire page and then just kind of just created a little ephemera holder with scrapbook paper. Definitely something I, I need to uh, more experience with, but nonetheless, I like how it turned out and it will be completely usable for my pictures. More stamping. And some more up here. Another flip flop. Another image from that clearance planner. Right there. Again, another little pocket in the front of a pocket. Julie's image. I made a large tag. Just add a little cut out there again with some trim and a brad. Then we had to do a flip up, flip down. Here I have some of that fray, the burlap that I used, and an image from the uh, For the Love of Paper book. Put a little Velcro closure here, did some stamping. This opens up. I really enjoyed making this. Little journal cart there, get some ruffle. Made a little belly band, and just a couple little journaling spots. And then up here, in this pocket, I just took a button card, sanded it down, and added a stamp and on the back. Put some paper and a different stamp.
That's the end of the second signature. We had to do something with a file index card. This one I got out of a vintage Better Homes and Gardens uh, gardening book. I mounted it onto a piece of thick chipboard and Mod Podged it and also this scrapbook paper onto it as well. So it's very, very tough. Last signature, again, the cardstock acetate piece. Fabric pocket. With some more of my ruffle. My vintage botanical book. Here another pocket with scrapbook paper stitched around it. There's some uh, sewing pattern tissue there. And then one of Julie's uh, digitals, I just used a flower punch and cut that out. Another pocket. This coloring page came from that For the Love of Paper botanical book. This is a Romantica Arts uh, journaling card. Just added a piece of muslin up there and fussy cut another little image with another little piece of trim. I put another one of my stamps on the back. This stamp I had gotten at uh, Hobby Lobby not too long ago. Another fabric tab. More stenciling and stamping on the page. Now this one here, I used some deckled edge scissors. Another image for the from that uh, paper botanical book. Took the edge of my writing paper, just trimmed it off and inked it and glued it on just for a different effect there. Different type of stencil. And my last flip-flop. I'm going to add a little fabric ruffle again. Another piece from the clearance planner. And this came from my garden book. And this botanical book I used uh, from the 30s, I was really fortunate to find something about succulents, so I was pretty excited about that. And then I reinforced it along here with some washi tape. And then at the back, I have, don't have it glued down yet, but this is my uh, fancy folder. And what I did here was, uh, this was a center tab folder, and I just kind of cut down the sides and cut the folder in half and flipped up the bottom and made this little pocket here little element from the for the love of paper book and there's another we had to have four inserts for this so from an old book wrote some have always some writing space little tag again from that botanical uh, for the love of paper little sticker another tag And then this last piece just had a little fun with stuff laying around in my craft room. And that's it. Well, thank you so much. I hope all of you are doing well and have a wonderful day.